Okay, I thought I'd do a quick recap of where we've been going so far. We've had permission from the store owner and also the company itself to do this video about a Poundland £10 challenge. So um, we started off going around Poundland with our £10 and buying all our goods. It cost us £10 and 10p. We've got 5p for the carry bags in our country. So um, we had good fun walking through here and having a good experience of seeing what you can get and what you can do. Just as we went into, this, into the woods, we found out actually the bags aren't going to cut it, so we decided to build ourselves a little backpack to hold it, where we found out as well the string wasn't as strong as I thought it was, and actually snapped on the arms. But there we are, using my waterproof jacket to make it a bag, and we're tying it onto the frame, in which um, Jake had learned some new knots using the clove hitch and a little bit of square lash at the same time. Now, when we actually got to the place itself, after jumping over a few rivers or little dikes, um, in the middle of a clearing we started cutting down from bracken to actually put together to build our lean to sort of um debris shelter there i am just putting the stuff down at the moment there were a few so here we are at the end of um part two we just finished building the shelter and we're about to start baking our fire so let's see what we got onto in part three Right then, so it's now fire time, so I've got the base sorted. Usually what I like to do is put some sort of fire bed down. So I've got these bits of wood here, and I'll lay them on the base. You lay these down there, Jacob. Lay them on the base there, please. Oh look, Daddy! What? A frog! Oh, a frog. Here we are. Here we are. Everyone. This is hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Nice little frog, little bush frog. Who are we going to call him? Freddy. Freddy, yeah, Freddy the frog. Bit small for a meal, but hey, let's let him go. Okay, so preparation is the key when making fires. We've got a nice fire base. We've got our my bed. We've got our tinder, which is which is here. We've got our kindling in different sizes coming up. So very shortly, we've got our another piece of kit we've got from Poundland, which is our tobacco tin with a lighter and some Rizzler papers. So we're going to use the Rizzler papers to light the lighter to light some of the some of, some of this over here. Then we're going to put on that. We've also got the tin if we need to to make the next day fire <coughs> to make char cloth. So I could cut up a little bit of this t shirt, cut up a little bit of his t shirt, and make some char cloth. We'll see how it goes. I might make a little bit just for tomorrow and light, and light tomorrow's fire yeah. um, with, with the flint just in case we run out of fuel. Or using this box as well, I can also get if it's going to rain, it might rain tonight, you never know. Um, just having some dry tinder um, ready to go first thing in the morning. It's going to be a nice little asset as well. Nice little tin just to put some dry tinder inside. So I might get a little bit of this birch bark, which might be quite ha helpful, and just put some of this inside here. So I know in the morning I've got some little bit of birch bark ready to go inside there. Right, so we're going to pull a few of these bits of paper out. Pull a few of those out. Just put. No, no, don't rip it open. Just pull the paper out. Yeah. Pull, pull a few. Of the, pull back five or six. Just pull them. That's it. Two. We've got ourselves a nice little paper tinder. Nice and easy. What I like doing is building a little wall up just around the outside of my items so it keeps it a little bit drier as well and keeps the wind out 
And also, when that starts going, put some thicker ones on now, Jacob. When, when, when actually the fire starts going, yeah, we've actually got stuff ready to go straight away. Get that, Dewis? Right, let's get a little bit of this. Rip this up now. Rip some of this up. We put some of that in there as well. Right, right, that will do us. Put it in there. Leave it there. Here we go. That's hot. There's something about fire, isn't there? <laughs> you just sit there and just lovely to look at. Yeah, it's quite wonderful sort of stuff really. It's like it's like campfire kit. Campfire TV. Nice and warm now. Sitting here in front of the fire. Right, so once this is going, we've got ourselves some some super noodles. We've got a little sort of a little pot we got for a pound. So I'm gonna let this brew up, get some embers, and then put our water inside here and cook some noodles. And we've also got at the top we've got some um baked beans as well. So I'm going to heat the noodles up and then put the baked beans in the noodles and mix the noodles and baked beans up all together and make a nice little pot and then we'll can sit there and, and eat it up. So let's let that, let's that thing um, burn away and I'll start carving a spoon. Be careful. Okay, so what I've just done, I've just split, I've just taken a limb off a tree and it happened to split nice and thin, nice and cleanly down the centre for us. So with this, I'm going to try to make two little spatula type spoons. And one for me, one for Jacob. I, I can use chopsticks, but he can't use them as much as I can. So I'm going to, as the fire's sort of dying down now, it's getting a nice little bed of embers. I'm just going to try to see if I can just take the bark off the back of this and a heat treat a little bit and then try to see if we can actually have couple of trees um, I thought I had a tick but it wasn't yeah I'm trying to make a couple of little flat sort of spoons with this knife and then uh, I'm gonna try to round this up a little bit just to try to make some sort of spoonish so it resembles a, a sort of spoon to make it a bit easier for him to use sap on my hand. Right now the next thing is I've got to try to cut it now so what I'm going to do I'm going to use that as a handle there I'm going to notch cut it yeah all the way I'm going to try to see if I can just cut a notch down it and hopefully in doing so that will make it a little bit weaker on, on the joints I can then score it on the top and the bottom and hopefully I'll be able to break it off Put a bit more sticks down No, it's fine, don't need no sticks for, for, for. Right, so now hopefully I've notched it a little bit I should be able to bend it and it should 
break straight where I, where I want it. There we go. Nice little little spatula, all type of spoon to get some food out of the bowl very shortly. So there's one. There's one more to make. And stir at them. Yeah. Okay, so the, the beans we've got they don't have a tin opener. Usually I could open them up without a tin opener without using rocks and stones, but there's nothing around here. But luckily, our little brown knife also comes with a tin opener. So let's see if this thing. Now I'll, I'll get it started for you. Yeah, so let's give this a go, see if this works. And hey, boys and girls, it actually is working. The tin. Right, so this bit goes in there like that, and it hooks up like that. But make sure that bit goes on the, underneath there. Okay. Can you do it with me? You ready? Yeah. Oh, what's it's your it hard. Sorry. So I can it feels like it's cut in my hand. Right. Right. Here are both thumbs on top of it, nice and slowly. Let's keep the, it going the notch. Cut down in the notch, Jacob. That's it. That's it. Lean right over it. Mm -hmm. And try not to get it on your clothes. Yeah, so um, sit like me, yeah, have your legs open, and you lean forward, and try not to get it in your clothes. Ew, I've got the spider! Ah, it's a bit of dirt, that's right. Ah, spider. It's actually <laughs> not that bad, actually. Nice beef flavoured beans and noodles. What do you reckon, Jagger? Good. Is this worth the wait? Mm. Is this worth the wait? What are you doing? Mini fire. Mini fire. Shall we get it closer? Wait a sec. Let's let's get this done first. Okay, so the last couple of things we've got to use inside our Proudland bags is we've got some rubbish in here which we've been collecting. But we've also got our head torch, which is going to be our light for tonight. Nice and simple. Uh, it didn't come with batteries, but I had batteries at home, so I haven't actually bought any. I just had some in there. And it's not working now. It was working before we left the house. There we go. Yeah, so we've got the light on here. We push it again and it flashes. Nice and simple. Just white on, flash and off. So that's going to be enough to light. What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah, that's going to give us enough light. But the reason I wanted these bags is for the next thing we need to make is a pillow so we've got the two bags which we which we managed to keep they're slightly ruined rip, rip a little bit now it doesn't really matter too much <laughs> but we're going to go down now and gather up some dry grass and fill these bags and tie them up just to make some sort of nice little pillow Right, I moved quickly then, I pulled back that grass 
And I mean, there is a proper buzzing noise coming from that little bit there. So I'm going to leave that well alone and find some different grass. <laughs> Don't need to blow anymore. Okay, so the pillows are done. Yes, yeah, nice one one bag here. Yeah. Another bag here, nice pound line bags. So they're gonna be our nice little pillows just to keep our heads off the floor. And then um I've got some grass underneath the underneath the mat as well, which I'm just gonna bring a bit more in there just to give it a little bit of insulation <coughs> what we're gonna lay on, but it's gonna condense down anyway. So I'm gonna pull the pull the tarp out, I'm gonna throw some grass underneath there and put the tarp back on. And that's going to be our job for over the next sort of 20, 30 minutes. What's the time now? It's half past six. So we've been here for six hours. In the six hours time, we've managed to build a debris shelter, get a fire going, have lunch, have dinner. And then I'm now going to do a little, few little jobs. We collect a load of firewood. Um, later on, what I'm going to do is just move the fire pit a bit closer towards the tent. We've done here because there's a nice log to sit on for food. Find it over here. But when it gets near, when it gets a little bit dark, we have to go to bed. I'm going to make another fire pit just in the front of our shelter, not sort of a few metres away from the shelter, just to throw some warmth into the into the actual tent itself, and also to keep the midges and and sort of other other creatures at bay as we're sleeping. But overall, how do you think it's gone, Jacob? Awesome. Yeah. How do you think? How do you think it's gone then? Awesome. Awesome. What's been your favourite thing so far? Seeing the frog. Yeah, seeing the frog. Any other things? Making the den. Making the den as well. Yeah. Mm. So it's going to be a bit of fun. Nice little, nice little um, father-son thing to do. Right, I'll see you catch in a few minutes. Okay, so it's now half seven. Um, Jake is ready for bed. I do have a sleeping bag in there. Just because he's only eight years old, I don't want to put him through all the elements and sort of stuff over there. And there is, excuse me, turn around, watch out, Jacob. And we do have an emergency shelter set up over there. So if anyone's wondering, here yeah, am I getting my kids to sleep in the woods over there with no, no, no backup? I do have a backup tent, which is set up. So if it did anything, pour down a rain or gets too much for him. I can I can actually put him into that. Is it? No, it's fine though. It's yeah, so we've got a nice warm fire. It's all it's all going burnt down to embers now. All the smoke has got rid of any of the <coughs> any of the midges. And um, there's midges galore over there, but there's no midges near us. So he's going to get in bed now, and we're going to lay there and just watch the fire and go to sleep. So let's get in. Let's get in bed then. Okay, so it's nine o'clock at night. I've just gone out to collect some more wood. Um, the fire's okay. I'll just put the door on, you can't really see anymore. There we go. That'd be why it zoomed in. So, um, it's nine o'clock at night. We're inside the tent. Well, not inside the tent, inside the shelter. You can see the bracken in there behind me. Jake is fast asleep. I've just got to go collect it some more firewood. Um, so we can stoke it up a little bit. Some big thick logs that we can keep on all night. But we're inside here now. You can see he, he's got his sleeping bag and that. But I'm not in nothing. I'm just in what I keep my wood at normally. So I'm going through. So, but it's dark now. So I'll see you again in the morning when we get up. Um, and see how we fared for the night. So until then, see you later.
<sighs> Morning everyone. Morning. Right, we survived the night in our debris shelter. It is, what's the time now? It's 10 to 7 in the morning. We just got up. So had a good sort of 11 hours sleep. Got a little bit chilly last night when the fire went out. I think it probably went out about 2 this morning. Um, it was a little bit damp and that sort of thing to get out and sort of rummage around and dark rummage around looking for any more wood. So I just let it go and then we just sort of got a little bit closer and um, just kept ourselves warm inside the tent. But the midges are starting to come out now so we need to get up. It's a little bit chilly, just got to get ourselves warmed up and um, get this fire, move the fire back over to our little catering area. And then we're going to have some food and then start breaking camp ready to move back home again later on this afternoon not later on today do you want to say anything what was it like last night mm, it was quite chilly but all right yeah what do you reckon do you like this yeah yeah all right and camera battery's nearly dead on this camera so i'm going to change the batteries over and then off we go uh, let's get out and take it come on Oh. Right, let's get this fire going. Get some breakfast on the go. Over here. Oh, I'll do this bit for you then. Right, you get ready to put it in there, okay? Put it in there. Did you know sharks don't have bones? Their skeleton is made in cartilia. Cartilage. Here we go. Bon appetit. Beans and beef flavoured noodles, all from Poundland. So three tins of beans, two cost a pound. Only we've still got one tin left. Two noodles cost a pound. We've used both of those. Two bottles of water, two four litres of water for a pound. We've now got about one and a half litres left, sort of over there. A wonderful tobacco tin with stuff, so tinder, really, really good thing as well. And then um, nine cereal bars for a pound, you cannot thunder at those sort of things. We'll do a review of all the stuff after we're finished. But to now, it's breakfast time. Okay then, so it is now, what's it, 10 to 9 in the morning, which we came here yesterday about half 11, 12 o'clock, so it's just shy of 24 hours, but we've done everything we came out here to actually do. 
Um, the only thing, to, if we're going to do anything else, we're going to sit around for two, three hours and share one tin of beans and a cereal bar. But that's sort of normal sort of stuff. But most times you can get the, the idea of this is come out, have a little bit of fun, set up a camp, have some dinner, have some breakfast, and then go back home in the next day. But also just proves that you can survive 24 hours on £10 inside Poundland. Um, just to sum up a few little things, um, some pros and cons which I've got with, with the equipment. I can't falter the tarp. The tarp itself wasn't big enough to make a, a lean-to shelter. It wasn't big enough for that. It, it was only, what was it? It was only 1.8 by 1.2 which barely just covered the footprint of the tent, of the shelter we were laying on, um, us next to each other, <coughs> that really, really just only just covered it. So if I was going to use that as a, a lean-to shelter tarp, that probably wouldn't have done too much at all for two people. For one person, it probably would have done something. But for what we needed, the ground sheet it was adequate enough. Uh, or I could have just draped it over the top of the shelter and then added some stuff onto it. So, but it did, it did um, have a slight drizzle rain last night. There's a slug on there, yeah. It did have a slight drizzle and rain last night. The ground sheet kept us dry off the floor. It also insulated, I put some grass underneath it and insulated us from the ground. It had no roll mats or anything like that with us. And that did actually work. So I'm happy with the ground sheet and old, old tarpaulin. And I'll end up using that, I'll probably use that as a, um, a kneel mat or something like that, or, or use it with, I'm doing normal shelters with myself now. So I've got that to keep me going for some time. Right, the next bit of equipment we used was the jute twine. What do you think of the twine spring, Jacob? Well, it was good. It was good. Yeah, good. As I, as I said, it wasn't as strong as we liked it to be because when I made my little pack frame, which is here, yeah, so you can see the back of it, I sort of lashed it all up. Um, I, did make, I did make a mistake, I knelt on one of the support bars, snapped it, instead of taking it all off and doing it all again to waste string, I just decided just to attach another bit to it. But when I made the arm loops, which all the weight was on, one piece of string snapped quite easily. So when I did the, the two-ply um, reverse twist on it, um, let's, see, let's see if I can get a close-up on it, this one here. So there's a two-ply reverse twist on the bottom on that which actually like makes the string like three or four times stronger. Right so that was what did we just talk about then the string. So doubling up but what you get for four pounds for for um hundred for for four packs of sixty meters you cannot grumble at that. If you're gonna double it up or triple it up you plait it and make it even stronger. I also used this twine on top of the um I just tied the ridge pole to the tree with normal square lashing. Uh, oh, Jacob did some of that as well, and that secured it all night. Um, what made it luckily, there was a little, little V-bar sort of sticking out where we wedged it inside, so all we had to do was just attach it and make sure it didn't move. So that was a string. Another, another um, bit of kit we got from Poundland was the pan. Yeah, not too bad, what do you reckon? It's quite rusty. Yeah, it's got some charring on the back, that's, that's only a um, normal sort of wear. Um, Non-stick, what made it really easy to use because when I was cooking the beans and that sort of thing, it didn't actually stick to it, so I was quite happy for a non-stick pan for a pound. Um, metal, the rubber handle didn't melt um, when I put it on the fire, but it did retain the heat sometimes, so I had still had to use um, my hat or t-shirt to pick it up. But it cleaned up quite well, and just had enough food, I could just put enough food in here for two people. So, overall, for a pound, for a pan, for down the pound land, that was a bit of a winner. Right, the torch. You want to talk about the torch, Jacob? Mm. Yeah. Mm. What, what do you say? What do you think about the torch? Where was that? Mm. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, the torch put out adequate light. I I forgot to film night time to show show you around how, how much light it did actually put out. Um, I'll put a little clip in now. Yes, you just saw. I've, I've just turned the light inside the house or in the garden and um, how actually bright the torch is. The only downside, it didn't, no torches in Poundland when I went there came with batteries. So, so yes, I got everything for £10, 10p, but I had to put some extra batteries for my house inside it. There's only one setting, it got on, 
flashing or off. So there's no, um, it's got seven LEDs, it's just bright only. So you didn't have, when we turned it on the side of the shelter, it blinded us about two o'clock in the morning when Jake wanted to go outside. Yeah, so having a, a little, a slightly less bright setting will make the batteries last a lot longer and make this torch quite good. Um, it's got, here's a head torch, I didn't actually use it as a head torch, I just hang it up. But it's quite comfortable to wear, doesn't shake around. Um, it's quite big and clumsy, but, but for a pound, this is an awesome piece of kit. Um, it's got a ratchet system, so you can hold it in place as well. You can put it on. What do you reckon? It feels comfortable. There we go. So that was that was a torch. Another another bit of kit we used excessively well, the most used item inside our kit was the little pocket knife um, I can't really falter this for what for what I paid for it for a pound what I could have done is made a lanyard and attached it but I was using it and Jacob was using it so if I was on my own I would have used a lanyard onto that and tied it to myself so I didn't lose it but he wanted to use it as well and the knife didn't come that sharp um, it's very very blunt now it didn't hold an edge very well but for cutting all that bracken, the string, um, and all the little uses we've used, even in the first days when I had to cut my, when I cut my finger with the bracken, I had to cut a bit of um, a tape up. So that used it quite well. And the other thing, indelible thing, was our bottle opener. Not bottle opener, can opener. So we also, the can opener, because when we bought the free pack of beans, we didn't know what was on the top. So it could have had a ring pull, could have not. Um, I can open these up with out of tin openers, but in these rocks or, rocks or concrete, there's none of that inside the woods. So luckily having a can opener, because the knife wouldn't have done, wouldn't have done that, we'd have to smash it open with something. Is that yeah. a No, it's a, I don't know what it's a mayfly. Yeah, so the can opener is a very valuable bit of sauce on here. The other things I didn't use, I didn't use a bottle opener, and I didn't use a corkscrew. <coughs> and <coughs> it said this is a small knife, but this looks more like an oar to me. Um, just to make some small holes. I didn't actually use need it for today, but I probably could have used it for something. Um, maybe making if I was making a decent spoon, I could have carved it out over there, or make it, or use a corkscrew to make a hole through something as well. You never know. There are some other uses for the kit, but for a, a, an everyday companion sort of cheap camping knife for the for normal person, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So that's going to be um. Jacob's or Rebecca's, no, Jacob's got his own one, so give this to Rebecca, I'll clean it up, sharpen it up, and she can have that inside her kit. Uh, and then we go on to, that is all our equipment, oh no, it wasn't, we've got one more bit of equipment. Um, this was a, a good bit of kit, a good buy. Um, comes a little bit, it, quality gift tin, yeah, so um, quality smoking product gift tin. Um, it came with the tin, which if I wanted to, I could have made char cloth, but because there was an ample supply of dry tinder and um, birch bark around the place, which worked really, really well, there wasn't the need to cut up our clothes or t-shirt and actually make char cloth. But I got this just in case if we came down here, it was damp or I didn't have any stuff, we could have made char cloth. But I've put, but it also came with a paper, um, which is the Rizzler papers, which also catch fire. And we've got a little bit of dry birch bark and we've also got a lighter inside here. Which is um, which is also good as well. This lighter, one of the reasons I got it as well, because if I take off the safety guard, and it runs out when it runs out of gas or it breaks, I can take the flint out of this. And if I did make char cloth the day before, I can then make use this as a flint and steel, and ignite some tinder, some char tinder. And you saw how easy it was just to make. Fire. Yes, we can all make fires with with all these fancy gizmos and gadgets and but. But just having a quick lighter, that was easy. Up and fire in a matter of minutes. Yep, yeah, what? Um, Daddy's got a different one to me. I've got a tiger at the top of mine. Yeah. Yes, he said on here, the picture, I've got a picture of a wolf. All sides, he's got tiger eyes on his. All right. And now, so that is all equipment. And now the food, so we talked about the beans, the beans and beans. They tasted nice. They didn't taste like the cheap beans. They tasted like, they actually tasted quite nice. Um, we've got the chewy bars. 
I say we had nine of them. We've got one left now, so that'll be, he wants it. We'll probably end up sharing it. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But Harvest Chewy, the best thing about these things, he, he really liked is saying these little things. Did you know a scallop has 35 blue eyes? There we go. Another did you know. Did you know 35 blue eyes of a scallop? The chewy bars were actually really nice. Um, quite soft and tender. Um, a nice little snack sort of going over. The, the um, batch of soup noodles, you can't complain about that. I burnt all the rubbish, so I can't show you the packaging. Um, another good thing about fires, you can get rid of discards all your, all your discardables and burn them all. I've just got to bring back the tins, which I put the tins on the fire, just to get all the horrible stuff inside it away, burn all that away, so I'm not carrying that sticky stuff. So four litres of water, so we've got a litre of water left. We've, drunk, we've gone through three litres so far, so we've got um, one litre left. We're quite, I'm, I'm quite thirsty now, we'll probably drink that between now and actually getting back to the car and that also survives our cooking and then last thing we had was the plastic bags I bought everything in and they made our pillows so I said I stuffed them with paper or paper with um with grass and we used them as a pillow how, how was your pillow last night comfortable yeah so nice little additional sort of thing over there so I'm not going to get into that grass put all this rubbish into those bags you like my torch yeah your torch looks funny yeah so we're now going to tidy it all up now clear up the fire pits I'm going to leave the shelter up because this is my this is my new area for all my bushcraft videos and um, where we're actually in at the moment so I've got full permission to use this land and um, so I'm going to leave it there to see how it fares um, it's a natural shelter in this sort of weather just see I'm, I'm intrigued I'm going to come here sort of each week just to have a quick photo I'm going to take a photo of the shelter and over time to see how long it takes for all that bracken to die back and actually make an unusable shelter that I can use it for something else sort of on there as well but that's it for me i hope you enjoyed this video how do you enjoy it mm, i've enjoyed it well yeah what's your favorite bit mm, making the fire and shelter there we go so that was it that was the aim Come and on seeing the frogs oh yeah we saw lots of frogs yeah we did see lots of frogs took a few photos and there was a frog on my frog yeah he's got a teddy bear freddy i'm um, frog called freddy i pulled it out of the bag this morning and there was a frog sitting on top. I managed to take a photo and it jumped just at the last second. I was well gutted. <laughs> but never mind. That's it. Let's get all this cleared away now. And I um, hope you liked this video. Hit like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Put a comment down below if you do anything different. Or, or, or say if you want to take up the challenge, just let us know down in the description. I like to read things and comment that are back. And um, until the next video, remember, it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight and struggle. Until then. See you later. Pour a little bit of water over the fire. So keep putting it out. Not too much, we need to drink some of that. Is that smoke? Yeah. Mm. to sing a little song about campfire. Campfire's burning, campfire's burning. Draw nearer, draw nearer. In the tower wings, in the tower wings. Come and see and be merry. Hey, well done. Should I stop them? Stop it now. Stop it now.